Hi, I'm Pat Gunn, and this is part of my Let's Play series for Fallout 4. So you will see, I'm not sure if you'll recognize this element yet because of what I've done with it, but you will see that I am in Murkwater construction site. And here, one of the nice things that you can do if you're particularly clever and if you play around a little bit with the, uh, the construction interface, you can build a new barn on top of the existing one. It doesn't quite line up perfectly. I've been unable to get it to fit quite right. But it fits well enough. And I've built myself a nice... Uh, well, not, not a great settlement, but a nice one. And as usual, I like building bars in my settlements because I like the idea of my settlers having a little bit of a social life. So giving them this feels right. Now up here I have a uh, fusion generator, have some defense stuff, have some water. And then on the side of the barn, I just have a nice simple place for them to sleep. Have street lights, a little bit of farming, guard tower. It feels like the beginning of a home. Now it's not as finished as it should be. But I have plenty of uh, room left to finish expanding this to make it better. The other thing is while doing this construction, I got Hancock's approval maxed out. So I can go and drop him off. I think, actually, where is he? Dude? There he is. Uh, well, I guess maybe the easiest thing to do will be to pop up to Bunker Hill and drop them off there. But yeah, I maxed out his affinity, which is great because the thing that I was waiting for was to finish up with him so that I can swap to another companion. And I think this should open hey, up. Hey, what you get? Let's see, does he have anything I want? Let's grab that and that. Yeah. Looks like they dug in deep here. Hey. Hmm? Hey, when you got time, I I got something I... Sure. Yeah, thanks. It's just being out here with... I skipped out on my family. Sure. Hell, running. But being here with you for the first... And running is the furthest thing from my mind. I mean, I left Good Neighbor thinking I was gonna just... Sh but whether it's fate or... I turned one of the nastiest settlements in the Commonwealth into a refuge for the lost. For being out here with you. Uh -huh. And then maybe all my running. For... You may have run. Been trying to convince myself of that. I don't know if you understand. So let me get to the point. Uh -huh. It's like I found a part of it. If I hadn't taken up with you. I know the feeling. And God help it. Well, I know I can. Mm -hmm. Thanks for mm -hmm. hearing me out. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Isodope is not really a perk that I find super useful. But. Hi, I'm Meg. It's at least something. <clears throat> Welcome back. Looking to trade? I've got a few minutes to browse. You got the caps? I got the goods. Now one of the things I've been a little bit careful about is to... is to not let too much food gather up in my settlements. Because that leads to uh, attacks. So what I usually do is I go and buy concrete. Looks like there's no concrete left to buy. So I will buy some wood. And that gets my weight back down to a reasonable level. I think there's some battling going on there, but I'm not going to get involved just uh, at this moment. Uh, where'd you go? Oh, there he is. Hancock, hey. Stop. Yeah. Hey, Hancock. You look like you could use Heads up. this. It's about time we split. Yes, all good things gotta end. I'll head home. Okay, so he's gonna head home. And, uh... Oh, yeah, I, I gained a level doing all that construction. So I'm gonna bump up my... Strong back. Because just the extra uh, pounds of being able to carry stuff, it's, it's a super, super useful. Um, so now we're going to go and uh, require probably everybody's favorite uh, companion, Nick Valentine. <clears throat> Part 
of uh, part of it, I think, is his voice. His uh, Seiyu is um, is just really, really great, and, and the writers gave him some really good lines too. So we're going to go to his detective agency if we can find our way there. Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. Your luck wouldn't last forever. Something wrong? His ties. Oh, Nick. Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but... You're right. I'm sorry. Picture on milk carton time? If only it was that... Nick disappeared working a case. Mm -hmm. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. Sure. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always weird. Okay. So we are in the amusing case of looking for a missing detective. But before we go, one of the fun things you can do here is pick up some of the stray case uh, material. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Because there are folders here that give you some extra things that you can investigate. Uh, but they're not actually super easy to find. Yes! Well, there's... Hmm. Actually, I don't see them. Maybe they're only put out after you... after you rescue Nick. Well, in any case, let's exit through the top door because that kind of makes it just a little bit more interesting. I wonder if... I guess it might make sense in, in a civilization that's in this state that employees might often sleep in the workplace. So this is the upper floor. You can kind of see... I'm at city surplus! Open 24 hours! Yeah, but there's another layer up here where uh, people live. Semi-private. Which is kind of interesting. Anyhow, uh, let's go and rescue Nick. Uh, oh. Well, apparently Jack Cabot wanted to see us too, a week afterwards. So we'll pop up here real quick, and then we'll go and rescue Nick. Now, it looks like Super Mutants, you never really see them working on armor, or really thinking about much outside of combat, but... Hey. Oh. You are so <coughs> dead! <clears throat> but apparently they must think at least occasionally about armor and about weapons <coughs> because the super mutant armor seems to be particularly uh, tailored uh, to them uh, let's see oh do we actually have to walk all the way down Looks like we do Actually, it's not that bad. So let's see what, uh, what Cabot thinks. Hey, dude. Excuse me. Ah, you're back. Good news! I figured out how to access the artifact's telekinesis effect. I've hooked it up to this old laser rifle. There's no way to control it without direct neural input, but you still have a rather power... That's not a laser rifle. I guess he's a little bit confused. You made a new... I hope you find some... Right. As for myself, maybe I'll finally travel to the southwest. That's the long way. We want the short way. I mean, I guess I could return and loot all the uh, raiders, but that's definitely not something I want to show on video. It's maybe just not a great use of my time. My character is not hurting for caps at this time. Yep, it's 
so out we go, trying to resist the urge to loot everything. Although it helps that generally the raiders here were not well equipped. But I would kind of like to have any ammo that they might have, because ammo doesn't weigh anything in Fallout 4. Anyhow, let's not get too distracted. Might be a little bit late for that. Okay, Nick Valentine is somewhere near the Boston Common. <coughs> yeah, initially, I was a little, little bit disappointed that. Before the DLCs, Robo Brains weren't in Fallout 4. I'm glad that they added them in, even though they look pretty different than, uh, than they did in earlier games. <coughs> yeah, walking around without a companion, it's a little bit nerve wracking. So down we go into the subways. <coughs> yeah, the game would be a pretty different game without quest markers. I'm telling you, joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this. So this place. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face Let's left. See. Where are they? Oh, they're out there. Okay. Getting rained on over here. Well, that's kind of fun. Not sure if they have a good idea where I am or not. Shouldn't hide. Ain't very courageous of you. Yeah, courage is heavily overrated. I think it's a silly manipulation to attempt to get people to do tactically stupid things. That's yes. right. Run! Don't see him there right now. Yes. Let's give you guys Shit. a grenade. What'd that come from? Who's there? Not sure if it actually hurt anybody. Stop hiding. We'll make nice. Promise. Cheese it! Okay, well, let's keep moving. Every second you hide, I just get madder. Your anger is not something that bothers me since I don't see a peaceful outcome to this. Sooner or later. I'm out. He's here for the quick. Isa. Jesus. Okay. So looks like we've definitely disabled them uh, a little bit at least. like the Raptors, and they might be nice to uh, have them and give them to settlers, but no real rush on that. Yep. Caps are always nice, aren't they? But again, we don't want to loot so much that we get weighted out because really right now we have nobody to give our spare stuff to. Some blue. It's always nice. Okay. Let's get moving again.
sure things that you would be happy to uh, this is what the trap is for. Make it bomb stuck on the wall. Let's see if we can put the Shots and he is out. But it Come on out. Was I enough to make everybody a great one here, Lames. So let's see. Afraid. Missing doesn't work too well, unless you're just trying to possibly This is kind of a reminder of how nice it is that we live in civilized times and places where we don't have to worry about this kind of stuff too much. Open violence is so incredibly destructive because you have resources that people uh, people consume for their entire lives and then to have their life ended just by over some silly conflict that ideally they wouldn't even consider getting involved in were they uh, living inside of a functioning society. It just ends up being an incredible waste. There's the yeah, there's the trip wire. Now this is again why I generally try and get my lock picking and hacking skills up pretty early. Got it. It's just it's nice to know that whatever locks uh, you happen to come across, you're gonna be okay. Unfortunately my I'm getting already getting closer to, the, uh, to my weight limit than I'd like at this point. Well, turn out the lights and see what kind of an approach we have. So this, so far, just looks like an ordinary subway train area. What is that? Move the cola quantum ahead? Looks like it is. I'm surprised that nobody just 
picked it up because there are people wandering in and out of this area. It's not like that, it's hard to see. With some oil. So there's there's some stairs leading up there. Let's see what we're doing. Losing a stealth boy or something? Won't work. Shouldn't hide. Ain't very courageous of you. They really should be out of using the openness of that door as a sign that I'm either hiding or I'm uh, engaging. But, oh well. There was a second guy and I wanted to do this ammo too, but I don't see him right now. Let's forge ahead. I think this was it. So oddly, you have what looked like a subway car glued into vault controls. You can kind of imagine that maybe this vault was a so loud. Hello? Is that you, Skinny? Lila? What the? Leave it alone, for good bop! <laughs> That's a hideout. This so I got a question. A Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. Oh, I'll find you. I'm not sure if a grenade would ever break somebody's life. Maybe it would. Ah! So, the message that you should have gotten through that bit of dialogue there is that, uh, which you will have also notice through other means, um, Malone's gang is a combination of ghouls and humans, and the ghouls are mostly, pre or, or at least significantly, pre-war ghouls. So they remember the world that your character remembers. Rained on over here. Unfortunately, all these lights mean that you're not going to be super stealthy. Okay. 
doesn't really matter if they can take a story like to hurt me. Yeah, as, as a place for them to have a base, this is pretty great. The other thing you'll notice is that the main entrance takes some coordination to get in. We're entering through a side uh, path. And it's a long path, it's difficult. Whereas whenever they want in, they basically call ahead and they can open some locked doors and bam, they're inside. It's a pretty desirable trait for a hideout. They also have tons and tons of supplies because this was meant to be a vault. How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. And these crates are probably just packed full of more useful supplies. Yeah, they've set up beds everywhere. Just they really have only a few avenues by which anybody could approach them. And they're in a place where nobody would think t uh, to approach them. So they're in a good place here. That's it. Of course, messing with detectives was not one of their smarter moves. Hey you! I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. I love the irony of the reverse jam. Excellent. Coming a distress scenario. Question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old private eye? I'm tracking a murderer. The bastard who shot. So you need a little angel event? I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. His, his dialogue is really a lot of Malone's fun. crew here used to be small time, muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players, until they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Empty vault. Perfect hideout. Yeah, so there probably is a story there. It's probably a pretty interesting one, but it's kind of the nature of history. I guess in theory, in the fall Hold on, universe, I hear some of them coming. Could probably scoop. There they are. How do you want to play this? The only job is to check on the prisoner. Why does that take so fucking long, huh? Hey, Dino, 
Quit razzing that detective and get down here. Where the heck is he? You could imagine scooting back or forward a few decades and there would probably still be interesting stories to tell. A lot of them. Apparently it is possible to slip through there. Unfortunately, Nick was found, but we did. Uh, Can't pick this. You and Valentine are both dead. <coughs> move, move. This how you imagined you'd go. That's true. I imagine often it's easier to unlock the lock when the lock is on the other side. Because it's not the intended avenue of approach or avenue Thought of security. I saw. Hell? Ooh, I gotta loosen up. I gotta fit. Sweet. Laundry room. Yeah, so they've set up some nice beds and all sorts of. Hmm. Find the beds. Good looking. Huh? that both in this Let's Play and in previous Let's Plays, I should have come back here to finish looting the place. I don't think I ever have, but there's just so much stuff here. see the vault tech gave people. Not a lot. Actually, really only from the outside. I guess he'd kind of have Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. It shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we... Let's ramp up the charisma. We step through this door, get ready for anything. So I put on my dress, which gives me a what plus are you doing? three to charisma. You're coming to my house? Shoot up my guys? 
You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should've left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this lady doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought her here to rub us all out. Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where... Where, where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, oh come on, Nikki. Stuff. You cost me my men? Now you and your friend cost me my girl? My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. Get out of here! All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. We better get out of here fast. One. Two. So we kind of want to book it out of there. But if you hurry, then you avoid getting attacked, which is kind of a fun way to end the, uh, the quest. Pretty sure this is our outfit, and we're here. Uh, Nick, where are you? Nick, Nick. Uh, oh, there we are. Hey, Valentine. Are you ready to talk? How do you know? Your secretary. Oh. She did. I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something. I want you to come to my office. Lead the way, Nick. All right, let's move fast. Okay, so he wants to meet up in uh, in his office, so we're gonna head back there. So maybe, well, yeah, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You say... Excuse me. Thanks so much for bringing Nick back. Middle detective delivery. At your service. Happy to be in a niche market, that's for sure. Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you... Oh. You know, if you're looking for work and don't... Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our... All right, let's get down to business. 
Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Okay. When you're so. trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Um, vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More. What else can you tell me? We're looking for my baby, Sean. Good question. Why your family in particular? Mm -hmm. Anything else you remember? My husband was... murdered. It's okay. So, we're talking about a... Well, that confirms it. Uh-huh. Hmm. Uh-huh. Super mutants. Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words... Who are the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No. So, you think this... Well, they're the boogeymen. Easy to see why. Then you got the newer mock. Worst of all, no one knows... You're a... As far as I know, there's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all mess. Sure. Either way... You're right. Respect... I'll never forget. Huh. Not much to go on. What else? The man who... Could have been a large caliber revolt. Anything more you can tell me? The woman was dressed in, uh... Maybe some kind of improvised armor? Uh -huh. The hazard suit is interesting. What else do you remember about them? Uh, One of them came right up to me. The, finally, it's a bit that's Old head. Scar. Wait. Oh, yeah. I heard their names, their home addresses, and where their diary keys are hidden. All right, all right. Calm down. Hmm. Ellie, what notes do we... The description matches. Bald head. And he bought a house here in town. Yeah, that's right. The house... Maybe it's another... Yeah, either that or he's got a... Both of them vanished a... Mm -hmm. Let you and I take a walk over... Security doesn't really go to that part of town. I always am. Right. Except you got captured, so maybe your security. You've really gone through a lot, accurate. haven't you? Hope you and Nick find that monster. The Earl Sterling case. Apparently, Earl just up and disappeared one day. No one's seen him since. The Marty Bullfinch case. Marty was Nick's partner. Emphasis on the was. He must have been some kind of desperate to come to us for help after all this time. Okay. So, those are the extra cases that I want to just grab because it can be kind of fun to pick them up or pick up the clues if you happen to uh, be in the area. Oh, wow, I, you're uh, tall. I didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. <laughs> Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identify me. A little bit to the right. Let's see. Nice. And here we are in Let's Kellogg's take a look house. around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Well, he left a lot of things behind. I think, though, we're looking for something a little bit more specific. That place seems small to you. Well, that's one way to hide a room. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, cigars, San Francisco sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Looks like he uses uh, Quantum 2. It's not exactly a good sign. What? 
The great clockwork dick is stumped? It's synth detective, jackass. If you're gonna be that way, you might as well get the make and model right. Joking aside, but what about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him. Why don't you go fetch him and, uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal. I want you with me on this. All right. Let's get it. Sure. So we have her bud. And who asks us to bring along a canine bud? Okay. <coughs> But for now, uh, Nick is our companion, which is exactly what we wanted. Oh. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. I'm trusting my family's future to a dog. That's it. I'm officially crazy. Yeah, I'm not particularly fond of that way of speaking. The, the officially this, officially that. It's it's just one of those things that really, really bugs me about the way that some people talk. But, you know, it's like sometimes people have linguistic quirks. So. go but I am gonna wanna drop off my stuff and probably continue this in a future video <clears throat> since I think this is a, a good level of stuff to get done in one video that I haven't shown uh, people yet. Crystal Cottage is still in there. Uh, I post the Mancha. I haven't been there for a while. Uh, on video, I don't think. So maybe this is... Maybe this is an example. Damn Institute infiltrate. She may look human, but she's not. I've been watching her, and there was something off about her lately. Please don't let them do this. You've got to let her go. Don't give in to paranoia. My God. Thank you. We're good then, right? Well, okay. But I'm keeping my eye on you. Got it. Leave her alone, for God's sake. Well, that was too close. We almost let our fear get the better of us. I hope we're doing the right thing. You say... You had forgotten that that's something that can happen. But yeah, uh, once you're a certain... A uh, certain level of being in the story, you start getting that kind of uh, stuff, stuff going on. Great Crazy. life. Thank she could have been killed. Need to get back to Diamond City one of these days. Okay, so that's it's it for this video. Biggest town um, I ever saw. You will maybe see me in a future one. Bye-bye.